Hello, welcome to CatX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, August 19, 2013. Well, the saga regarding the purchase of American Safety Insurance and American Safety Reinsurance has taken a, a new turn this morning. It seems that Catalina and Fairfax Financial Holdings and Tower Group have reached an agreement under which Fairfax will buy American Safety Insurance and Catalina will purchase American Safety Re. This will end the bidding war for the U.S. insurer. Under the deal, Catalina has withdrawn its offer to acquire American Safety Insurance and has agreed to support Fairfax in its purchase of American Safety. And it's going to instead buy the American Safety Reinsurance Unit in Bermuda. Previously, as you know, Catalina and Fairfax had been fighting over the price per share that was going to be paid for the main insurance company and Tower Insurance was going to buy the reinsurance operation. Now it seems that Catalina is going to buy the reinsurance operation. Whether this will change again is anybody's guess, but Tower Group has received notification from the uh, NASDAQ stock market that its failure to report its second quarter results with the Securities and Exchange Commission means it's in violation of its listing requirements. Tower Group shares had plummeted after it revealed it would delay its second quarter of results due to a $110 million reserve strengthening. The uh, stock has closed down about 27% already for the month of August. Whether or not the new deal that's arranged between Fairfax and Catalina has Tower acquiring any of the reinsurance entity of American Safety is as of yet unknown. Very interesting. Amlin, uh, the big syndicate at Lloyd's, is the last one to come out with their numbers. Their chief executive, uh, Charles Phillips, said that they saw intense competition for cat risk in the first half of the year, fueled by rivalry from the capital markets. He said, it's no surprise to you that, like others, we've seen in increased capital market penetration of the cat reinsurance market. Uh, that, combined with limited loss activity, has led to a more intense competitive environment for cat risk, listen to this, particularly in the U.S., where rates fell from their peak at the start of the year by an average of 15% for the June renewals. That is a big drop. Amelon said that first-half profit dropped about 12.5% down to uh, 161 million pounds from 184 million pounds, mainly due to high losses from the European floods. The independent reinsurance broker Ballantyne McKean and Sullivan, better known as BMS, has appointed former Brit insurance chief Dane Dote as the successor to the departed CEO Carl Beedmore. Dote will take up the role early next month. Uh, it's known that BMS is under pressure from their uh, competitor in the United States, Tiger Risk, for their U.S. growth strategy. Quentin Heaney, a good guy, has stepped down as Chief Operating Officer of employee-owned London broker Tizers with immediate effect. The company released a statement today. Heaney joined Tizers in 2006, became COO in 2007. He's credited by some as being the architect of the firm's management buyout. And in India, at least 37 Hindu pilgrims were killed when an express train plowed into them at a remote railway station in the eastern Indian state of Bihar. This is, this is interesting. The accident occurred at about 9 o'clock in the morning today when a large group of pilgrims got off a local train at a village railway station on the northern banks of the Ganges River and oblivious of a, an express train heading to the state capital Patna they began crossing the railway track on their way to a temple. The express train plowed through the Saffron Road group of pilgrims, mainly young men, killing at least 37. Enraged pilgrims then attacked the express train and held the uh, engineer as well as other railway officials hostage. They severely beat the train driver. Rescue equipment had to fight through throngs of rioters who were enraged at the uh, train driver to get to the scene. There was an active uh, volcanic explosion in Japan today, a uh, volcano called Sakurajima, down near a, a city called Kagoshima, a city of 600,000 people, erupted, sent plumes of ash uh, about five kilometers or 30,000 feet into the air. Uh, it shut down uh, railway operations in the area so ash could be removed. There's been no reports of any damage or injuries. And the capital of the Philippines, Manila, is at a standstill right now as torrential rain has brought floods into the downtown area 
at about a waist high level, stranded thousands of people uh, across the city. The National Disaster Agency reports at least two people dead. The metropolitan area of 12 million people is under a red alert. Uh, this follows a night of heavy rains brought by the monsoon, which was enhanced by a tropical storm. Rain fell at a rate of about one inch an hour for about a 24 hour period. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you.